Oh, wow, what a beautiful day it is, isn't it? You bet your sweet ass it is. So, your boy forgot to press recording, but uh, <laughs> to uh, get the clue, we have to go to City Hall and we have to go. We, it was pretty easy to figure out on where we was gonna be. Um, we get the address, which is Central Grimhaven Bay at the corner of Nantucket Street and Fitz O'Callaghan. Uh, that's the only thing I did, though. I uh, found out quickly, thank God. Fitz O'Callaghan and then took a motherfucker. So it's gonna be around me. So let's go ahead and travel there right quick. And you know what, guys? I should have gone to the toilet before I started recording this episode because I have to shit. <laughs> I mean, I gotta take a sweet old big old dump. But it's okay, because you know, I don't need it. I can hold it because I'm a man and I am able to hold my stuff. Okay? Okay? Y'all feel me? Anyway, I think it's gotta be around me all. You. You're the man who handled the problems in the port. Seemed like a sharp sleuth. Want to make something on the side? Uh, too busy now. I don't have time to take on extra work at the moment. You can always find me here when you're free. Will do, buddy. Thanks for the sweet old offer, though. But, uh, we are not doing side quests. We do not have time for side quests. Okay, so it was... Uh, Nantucket Street and the corner of Nantucket Street and Fitzoconnell Street. So that would be right in front of us. So it's probably in that house over there. The flashy lights. No? Fuck. I don't even know what it is we're actually looking for. It's called a what? A cannery. I don't know what a cannery is. <laughs> Y'all know what a cannery is? Well... While I go figure out what a cannery is, real quick, I'm, uh... See you guys in a bit. Alright, as you guys may have noticed from my elaborate, perfect timing to not be able to find anything, uh... I did want to go take a nice dump. <laughs> Sorry about that, boys! An attack? Just when I thought I'd actually get somewhere first for once. Hello there, Mr. Reed. I didn't expect to see you here so soon. So we soon. know each other. Well, I must say, I'm a little hurt. The Yellow Kings know everything that goes on in this Borg. And that includes you. I've seen some of your gang's handiwork before. What's your angle? Us? Well, call us concerned citizens. And this is just the kind of situation we concern ourselves with. I believe you recently lost something important. We're here to make sure you get it back. The seal. Uh-huh. Gotta find it before you go complete cuckoo like all them chosen before you. What did you just say about the other chosen? All the chosen go bonkers eventually. Whatever you're doing, you better step on it. You ain't safe. And from what I hear, it's been showing. So what do you get out of this? I just do what I'm told. And my boss was very clear about this. Your boss? Who would that be? Oh, don't you worry, sir. He'll find you when all is said and done. So, Johannes, I guess. or not? Not at all. You're here already. Do your thing. Just leave us be while we do ours. If Evernote Blackwood shows his face, we'll put him down for good this time. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Don't worry. We'll stay and watch. We've got your back, Mr. Reed. Okay. Looks like I got friends in high places. Uh, let's go and check upstairs. Go ahead and see if we can get upstairs. All right. Let's get investigating. Uh, how old is this? Someone could have cleaned this up, right? Well, you would expect them to. Oh. 
factory key. To E. Blackwood, Mr. Blackwood, thank you for your generous donation. Every can of fish you have delivered to us will help. For your request about the recent cases of matching hallucinations, our patient's privacy is paramount. But for a patron like you, some arrangement could be made. I will notify you when I manage to piece something together. I feel ob oblig obliged to ask, however, what is you're interested in? This. Yes. Alright, so we just got a factory key. I'm not sure what we need that for, but... Uh... I'm lucky you bastards left your research before you fled. All of the chosen are in here. Looks like everybody left mid-meeting. What else have we got over here? Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, it looks like we did get, get a lot already. Go so check downstairs. For this door is probably what we need a key for. Great. Nothing. Hmm. An old key rusted an old rusted key to the factory. Oh. Ebernode can help lift my curse. Ebernode Black who developed a ritual to lift the curse from the chosen and took the seal of Katigonar, believing it was the missing element. For all I know, this is the only chance to save myself from this madness. I need to find Evernote. So do we collect all evidence or no? The map it shows we're not even close to done. You go on, Mr. Reed. Snoop away. Um, it's gonna be something I missed. Hmm. Oh, shit. We got the seal. Ancient prophecies. It's dark eons, yada, yada, yada. Pause the video if you want to read it. What was that? You are here, Mr. Reed. Just when I was starting to think I'd come on too strongly. You have an odd way of making advances. You're hardly the charmer yourself. I was hoping we could talk. It's the least you could do after bringing those gentlemen along. You saved my life at the Temple of Dagon. Why? Oh, could I not? I suspected that you too were chosen. As it turns out, I was right. We walked the same path, you and I. I extended only the courtesy of a fellow traveler. Nothing more, nothing less. That's reassuring. I guess. Those gentlemen were here when I arrived. Tell me, what were they after? They have been a nuisance, hounding me for some time. I don't know their leader, but whoever they are, they're determined. And so you slaughtered them. They wanted me dead. I retaliated. If I looked, Mr. Reed, would I not find 
Your hands soiled the same way? I was told the Chosen all go insane. Is it true? All of them. No ordinary human can bear the curse, but I... I was destined to carry this burden, trained for it. It is mine alone, yet still I am denied it. Okay. I can't let you have the seal. Now, Charles, let's be civilized. By now you know enough to understand what this entails. I'll make you an offer. I have been groomed for this. I have waited my entire life for this. I am chosen. I am chosen. Let me free you from the burden. Free me? Are you saying you can stop me going mad? I can, with a ritual of my own design. There have been setbacks, yes, but now, with the piece of Katiganal in my hands, I know it will work. You better start hmm. making sense, Blackwood. I can extract the Dreamer's Seed from you. I will bear this burden and carry it into the Stygian depths below the city. And you shall be free. Free to help me in this quest on an equal footing, or to flee the city with your sanity. It can't be that easy. None of it was easy. I have given everything I have, everything, to be here. I know this is my fate. Our fate. You can be saved, Mr. Reed. Let me help. I beg you. This is not where your journey ends. I need to think about I want it. a moment to think about the options. Destiny waits for no man, Charles. Decide now whether this ends in salvation or blood. Alright, so we did a bit of thinking, and I don't think I'm going to do it, because it would be crazy, right? Give him the seal, get the ritual going. But however, it might be more interesting for the story, so, um, let's just if do it's it. it's the only way to keep my marbles in this forsaken city, then, okay, let's do it. Ah, Charles, you are a wise and courageous man. I bet. Please. Lie down on the altar so we may begin. Well, this ought to be fun. <laughs> Fuck. It's actual magic in this fucking game. What the hell? <laughs> What happened? Nope. Did it crack under my weight? Sure, I could lose a few pounds, but still. <laughs> odd. Man, yo, fat ass. Oh, damn. Oh, wait, what? Poor dead bastard. Wait, I killed him? Charles, no! What are you doing? Return to the altar! Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. Holy... Charles, no! Fool! This one is beyond your reach. Your path ends here. The fuck? Something inside me fought the ritual. It overcame me and I... I killed Evernote. 
I killed him with my bare hands. Well, no, the spooky tentacles did it, right? Holy hell, these guys weren't left anything of them. Jesus. Jesus. Pause the video if you guys want to read it. Let's go ahead through everything. Seal of Katiganar. Alright. So we got Vandenberg's address and I have the seal. I've reclaimed the seal. Johannes Vandenberg told me to speak with him at the theater after I found it. Hopefully he's expecting me and knows what to do next. Johannes Vandenberg gave me an address. I should visit after I get the seal back. Western Advent, Vinland Avenue, south of the University Street. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and get there right quick and I'll see you guys in the flip side. <laughs> there we go. The door won't budge. Guess I have to find another way in. Guess we have to find another Sealed way by in. The police. What could Johannes have done? Seeing a dead policeman must be bad luck. Really bad. <sighs> that door is not much. Come on. That was a tough door. Johannes? 38 revolver shell casing. That's the same I'm using. And it appears someone tried to help him, but all in vain. Hmm. Three shots to the gut, one through the heart. Quick death. Aye, but uh Hmm. The blood stains are still wet. This phone was used recently. Wear this. Kill Vanderberg, and your sweet new wife won't get hurt. Wait, that guy looks like me. What if they think it's me? I'm using a 44 revolver. Fuck. Your humble servant, Thayergy of Math. Right. Um. No, thank you. Le philosophe in canu. Selection of maxims and aphorisms. Year de Lalande. Repercussions and reflections. For this world is nothing more than just a play of lights and shadows, dwarfed to insignificance in the endless corridor of angles yielded by mirrors that reflect each other. As our material existence is not life, so our material destruction is not death. Monade possesses the ultimate power of transforming the world. Thus, being added to an odd number, it turns into an even. And added to an even makes it odd. Oh, wow. That's, uh, interesting. Ask both. Anything to identify here, maybe? No. No? Okay, let's get back downstairs. Maybe we missed something over there. Repeat the verse after me. Naya Ilya Ogn Ogn Glui has Thor Fatarane Ungi Bunma. All right, he did. That should do it. Let's go ahead and figure that motherfucker out. 
Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this humble abode of mine. Can't you see we are having a seance? What are you... Ah! Police? Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! Please send help! Okay, let's see what actually happened here. Okay, so this one will be one. Step right in, my friend. Let me welcome you in this... This one ought to be two. We are having a seance? What are you... Ah! This one Police? Three. Mr. Vanderberg has been shot! That one for Johannes Vanderberg Sweet. was with a guest when the killer arrived and shot him. His visitor survived and used the phone to call the police. Guess I gotta figure out who the visitor is, huh? Fuck, alright. Ooh, cutscene maybe. Stop right there. Put your hands up and don't try anything stupid. What? Why? You're under arrest for the murder of Johannes Vanderberg. I didn't kill him. We have clear evidence against you and an eyewitness report. Take him in. Take him in? The fuck? That's not what I expected from a cutscene. I knew it was going to be framed when I saw the hat, though. Fucking cunts. Fucking assholes. Rise and shine, Detective Reed. Hope you've enjoyed your stay. It's a good time. Weren't you the man giving orders back at the Carpenter Manor? <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure? You have an excellent memory, Reed. The name's Frank. Regardless, I'm here for you. Mr. Carpenter has put up your bail. How did Mr. Carpenter? That's generous of Mr. Carpenter, but tell me. How did he know I was here? The Carpenter family has a long and proud history of supporting the Oakmont Police Department. Let's just say they keep us in the loop. I must confess I'm, uh, pleasantly surprised. That seems helping Mr. Carpenter was a good choice after all. Well, you helped Mr. Carpenter, and now he returned the favor. The Carpenter family always pays its debts. Ah, oh, it was the guy handing out free food in front of the manor. I didn't kill anyone. Do you have any idea what's going on? Of course you didn't do it, Mr. Reed. The witness must be mistaken. No, seriously. I'm innocent. Okay, sir. Mr. Carpenter wishes to see you. I suggest you take up the matter with him yourself. Fine. Thank you. He don't believe me. Motherfucker. Self-defense. That's the newest main story quest, isn't it? So it looks like we did complete the other one. Fucking sweet, boys. That's what the police have to say. <laughs> you better start brown-nosing Carpenter. If it were up to me, we'd have already thrown away the key. Sir, I didn't do a thing. Oh, really, newcomer? Uh, shall I read your record aloud? Go ahead. I'm a good citizen. A good citizen with a shotgun. People like you are best kept in jail, if not the asylum. Does the record mention I'm a former asylum patient? Perhaps it's best to uh, tread lightly. Former patient being the regrettable fact here. You would do well to hold your tongue. I have seen things you wouldn't wish on your worst enemies. Electrocution, mutilation, drowning. Sounds like they left things unfinished with you. If it'd help, I'll happily give you a dose of the electric chair. You're not so good with people, are you, officer? Men like you are why this city is a mess. You blow off locks and break into houses to ransack them. You stroll the streets with a loaded gun, firing at innocent passers-by. And don't you dare deny it. The work of a private eye does occasionally require some lateral thinking, but it's all in service of law and order. So you commit crimes to prevent crimes. Got it. The only mystery is why you haven't ended up here sooner. Just remember, if it weren't for your <laughs> powerful friends, you'd still be rotten in Oakmont Jail. Well, that's just a bunch of fuck-ton positivity to end the episode with, am I right?
<laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching. And in the next episode, we will be continuing self-deep motherfucking pants. All right. Bye-bye-bye.